Welcome to the video where I make a spoon in my apartment in Los Angeles in my bedroom. I started off by sourcing the wood. I chose basswood because it's softer and I'm kind of a beginner and uh, it's delicious. Found it at Michael's and the biggest piece they had was just a round. Keep that in mind for later. At checkout I noticed they had the uh, the trolley sour gummy worms for three dollars so I had to go to the 99 cent store and buy three of the same thing just to even it out. I think they're really missing an opportunity by not having a a wrapper called uh, 99 cent. I drew the spoon shape and I got to sawing, which is difficult without a vise or you know, a bandsaw would be nice. But uh, you know, you just gotta make do with what you gotta have this little miter box that, that helped a little bit, but not much. And uh, probably don't do this at home. I'm a professional. You might be thinking, what's this guy doing? He's making a spoon that's going against the grain. It's, it's not gonna be structurally sound. And uh, to, to that, I'll address that later. I had a little bit of trouble gouging out the, the spoon, the spoon area where like food would go. I just kept with it and eventually it gets easier once you get more out of there. It's just when it's flat, starting it out is a little bit tricky. But once you get going, it's a piece of cake. Don't pay attention to my thumbs at any point in the video. Thank you. The coping saw helped a lot because it was like I, I could get those curves in there without a, you know, with the with the regular shots. You can't really do that, but ideally, I'd have a bandsaw. And then it was just a combination of gouging, filing, cutting, gouging, filing, sanding, all the all that jazz. What? Why did I say? Why did I say jazz? I thought it would be okay if I made the spoon against the grain because. It doesn't have to be the strongest thing in the world, it's just picking up food. But it broke. But instead of giving up, I bought some more wood off Amazon, some cherry wood. It was my first time buying cherry wood. Handling it was like losing my virgin- uh, I mean... It was a good wood and it had a nice weight to it. The first thing you gotta do when you receive your wood <laughs> is make a stack out of it. Okay. I wanted this new spoon to be authentically spoon. I designed it with a swoop down and an angle out like you see here on this common household spoon. And then I uh, procrastinated about a month trying to find somebody in LA that had a had a bandsaw because I didn't want to cut, I didn't want to handsaw this hard cherry wood. I didn't want to do that. But sometimes in life you just got to do, you just got to do it. Uh, Nike. Speaking of that, the other day I got a Nike t-shirt and ever since then I've just been doing it. I just eventually got to sawing. It took forever, but when I was done, I felt like I accomplished something more. It's kind of like using a, a paper map instead of Google Maps, but it's really not worth it because you just end up lost on the other side of the town with a, with a crooked spoon. Then I started to bore the spoon out. I thought the cherry wood would be harder to bore out, but it was fine. It was my first time handling wood this hard. <laughs> and then it was back to sanding, filing, sanding, whittling, sanding, whittling, filing, sanding, sanding, whittling, filing, sanding, until I could finally finish. 
By the way, if you want a tutorial on how to do any of this stuff, just just look that up on YouTube to go somewhere else for that because I'm basically a beginner and I'm I'm just doing it in my room along with a lot of other stuff I do in my room. <laughs> I used Odie's oil to finish it. <laughs> Odie's nuts. Sorry. Then after around 35 minutes, I wiped the oil off and it was done. I just had to wait like three to five days to be able to use it. It works great. You can eat popcorn. You can eat, you can eat cereal. It's a little big for that, but he's a big boy. In conclusion, I'm proud of the spoon. I think it's a good spoon. Oh, sorry. I think it's a good spoon. And I probably won't use it that much. I'll probably try to give it away to somebody because I don't know. Or maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll sell it on eBay or Etsy. We'll see. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and uh, like and like, s subscribe, hit the bell.